the rapid trade world is braced with discipline. The mystified business world is explored with dedication and goals are scored or defended with determination. One visionary man who served the Indian Army for 28 years, where faith and trust are nurtured meticulously with discipline, dedication and determination, pioneered the need of thinking beyond borders. He was the first Indian in the history of India to be conferred the honorary rank of Colonel after retirement. The extraordinary and motivated ex-army men understood the value of innovation. He penned five books on management, acquired three postgraduate degrees with flying colors, constantly strived to combine strong army discipline with real-world applications and created dream institutions. What is success? It's a question that's always there on our minds. We love listening to successful people and their stories. But often what we really miss out are those success mantras. Mantras that make these people truly successful and allow them to live their lives on their own terms. Well, on this show, we are going to address exactly that. Welcome to Trailblazers. Our guest on Trailblazers today is an inspiring personality, a man who has an intimate relationship with the world of education. An eminent educationist from Pune, Dr. Colonel A. Bala Subramanian. Bala Subramaniam was born in a small village in Tamil Nadu, but his was not a life of fairy tales. In fact, there were many signs and events even in his childhood that would determine who he would eventually become. Let's hear it from the man himself. I am from a remote village in those days, Tanjau district. Uh, it is uh, known as Kandidam Bete village is in Manargudi Taluk. Uh, my father was a farmer. Uh, my mother uh, was a housewife. We used to work in the KT. So I studied uh, in my village school, which is a government school. Very good teachers. The teachers who lived in the village, who used to follow you up, who used to come to your house, who used to ask the parents how your son is doing. If you don't go one day to the school, they will come to the house. I, I can't explain that. See, my entire uh, grooming started when I was in the first standard. You can't imagine in the school, it is a big village. So, uh, there is a small, small uh, compartment on the land they used to make for the children. And they used to say, this is your kethi. No, no, this is your field. Now you harvest anything. So we used to put Wendy, we used to do that, and it used to be used for the midday meal, that kind of uh, teacher. The teachers used to give small chit and call the parents, and we used to mug up. So in those days, we don't know the meaning. We used to read, make our practice. And the title of that speech was, I am a revolutionary. I, I then, you know, somewhere, if you feel, and then I started to, go to a small library in our village. The village is rich of, was rich of books. And then somewhere, if you feel, and then I started to go to a small library in our village. The village is rich of, was rich of books. So that way, reading habit started for me, voracious reading. When after fifth, we went to the next village, Alangote. There, up to eighth standard. It was one of the finest schools in the country. Fine, 8th standard was over. 
So now for ninth, we have to go to a town, Manarkadi. See, in those days, the transportation facility, all those facilities were not there. So I said, I want to go for ninth standard. My father said, no, the cattle I just look after the cattle. I said, no, I want to read. Um, he did not allow, and when I cried, he gave me a good beating. So then I ran away on that. And I ran away, and I joined an orphanage. The conditions in the orphanage did not allow me uh, you know, to read in the night and all. A crowd of 100 people and all. So, and again, I got into bad companies. In the town, pictures, that kind of chakra nagya. So I failed in 10th standard. I got only 8 marks in mathematics. And again, I ran away from there. Because now you can't go back to even home or anywhere in any case. Ran to Chennai. And there was a small temple there, Mariamman temple in Kodambakam. I was uh, sitting there, sleeping there one day, two day, three day, without eating anything. And the third day, one man, his name is Mahadevan, he asked me, what are you doing here? I am seeing you for three days, you are not going anywhere. I told him, this is how I ran away and I spent all the money. That man, he took me to a hotel, first of all small hotel in bus stand, Kodambakam. I worked there. Now I become a very happy man. You can eat as much as you can. And you have to clean the, the job is also not very technical. You have to only clean the table and uh, keep it clean and uh, whatever they eat, uh, take it and wash it and keep it. That's it. With now I got six months experience, you know. With that I went to Vega restaurant, tourist home just opposite that Egmoor railway station. You see, I was in a very impressionable age and good looking and healthy. The moment I went, sir, I want a job. He said, what job you can do? Sir, I can clean table and wash plates. He said, okay, go on, join. Running away from the village to an orphanage, working as a waiter and aspiring to be an actor. Quite a journey, isn't it? So who did he really become? An actor perhaps or a waiter still? Well, Colonel Bala Subramanian is a man full of surprises. He in fact went on to join the Indian Army and his association with the Army would last good 28 years. How did that story unfold? Let's listen in. I wanted to do a pundit course for which I went to Manargudi town. There I saw the board join the army. You know, we people have not seen army. We have seen only in the film. In our area, hardly anyone joined the army. So I went there to see how Fauji's are. Good, tight, much it. Subhadar Major was standing there, all of them were standing there. Hardly any people. So he saw me. He said, hey, come here, gentlemen. Come here. Why didn't you join the army? I just looked at him. See, you will have three days mutton. You will travel all over India. You will see the entire in country. You will see Kashmir. You will see Taj. And you will get 79 rupees salary. And very big status. Now, the status really clicked on me. But I could not take any decision. He said, oh, come, come, stand. He took my measurement and everything. And he said, this is uh, your uh, ticket. And now go to Nasik. So the journey. I was not allowed to go and tell my parents and all, you know. Just I was in the nicker. With that, I was sent to Nasik. Initially, I was an early for a few days. Anybody who goes there, they used to rotate in those days. So I was put and went there. Um, uh, but those, those officers were very good, excellent. And that madam asked me one day, you know, what is the difference between you and my husband? I said, madam, 
हम लोग उसका क्रिसमस इज गुड माई क्रिसमस नॉट गुड नो इज एट नो इज है स्टडी वेल ग्रो वेल एजुकेशन इज द बेस्ट सो दे आर आया Colonel Bala Subramanian has touched many lives and has earned respect amongst the very best. Let's hear it from them. As a student, I would define him as a person who's really there to guide you at every step. Because uh, as a student, whenever you say, uh, there was three words Bala Bala sir used to say: dedication, determination, and discipline. And there was another fourth word which he used to add that was danda. So he is a person who keeps a danda on your head every time you're here in Bala Bala uh, Bala Bala Ji Society. So I would. I would say he's he's a person who guides you through all those four semesters till the end time when you get placed. When I entered the campus first, uh, Balasar was a one-man army, based on uh, you know his principles of discipline, dedication, and determination. And where he has taken the institute today uh, to great heights, uh, it's just a testimony of uh, what he has been able to accomplish by sticking to those principles and being humble about it. and uh, you know my my salutes my respect my uh, total uh, loyalty towards him of what he's been able to accomplish uh, one of the instances i remember with uh, working with bala sir is uh, you know printing of this uh, college prospectus students prospectus placement prospectus and so was awake from uh, 9 in the morning till 4 a.m. because it was supposed to go in the print next day when the printer's office started at 10 a.m. so it was amazing to see the dedication of uh, this one man army i call uh who would definitely empower but also would take total responsibility uh by being present when he his 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 presence was required thinking of bala sir i still remember his one motto problems are opportunities he never uh, no problem could ever stop him he he was uh, he always thought that the problems uh, he always thought problems are increasing I still remember uh, when I was uh, uh, you know studying in IIMM uh, I was a pioneer batch uh, student and at that time during the recruitment we were hoping uh, many companies uh, would come to our uh, college for recruitments but somehow that uh, that year was 2001 and uh, suddenly because of uh, you know uh, slow down in US and other aspect uh, in, in across the world not many companies turned up but but that didn't uh, stop bala sir because he then uh, took the recruitment team and said let's go to different colleges let's try out uh, uh, tying up with different colleges and see if uh, we can uh, uh, appear in those interviews because we had a good quality uh, number of students who had uh, be, who had done remarkable things in their summer internships so he took the initiative to take as many students as possible to different colleges and different uh, companies for recruitments and i would i still remember that uh, uh, initially our expectation of the num- total number of recruitments was little less but eventually it turned out that more than 100 people were placed in that year which i consider to be pretty 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 good when he was very young he came to a school he was best friend to his son to study in the school premises and devoted his attention totally in the benefit of the family and also he helped his family and also villages because the villages were very poor for their benefit he gave each family 1 lakh 10 10000 15000 free because they could come forward very simple very kind to all he treated everybody equally well so i bless him and his family to live long and do his best to service for education bala is my friend yeah from the childhood uh, we have studied uh, in the elementary school to high school he is well versed in dramatic acting particularly he is acted as a female character in the middle school he is studying to be he will he got the knowledge of reading and writing and playing he is well versed 
boy in the uh, native place. Then he went to uh, the giant in Milti. After that, he got grown up, uh, separate stuff uh, in his state. Till now, he is my friend. He is well worth uh, and helping to the people, native people and other people and giving education and he is the Bhishma Pita Mahar who really, he is the soul of this institution. He is the founder. And see from where he started, where he has brought it up. I mean, sir, and I consider these educational institutions as the great temples of democracy. So according to me, he is doing much greater service than the so-called prime ministers of this country or members of the cabinet. <laughs> What a roller coaster ride it was. Here was a boy from a small village joining the Indian Army and even managing to equip himself with great qualifications. Perfect timing for Colonel Bala Subramanian to hang his boots and return home a hero. But he decided otherwise. He embarked on a new journey at the age of 50 when most would give up and plan for their retirement. And this time he plunged into his true calling, education. A journey which would yield monumental success in form of Sri Balaji Society. How did that story unfold? Let's listen in. I wanted to become a bank clerk when I retired. So in those days, it's a graduation requirement. Even now it is a requirement. So I wanted to become a graduate. I started with my BA. Because I never wanted to go back to mathematics side. The bitter memory of my 10th standard was there. So started pre-university, cleared, good mark. Went for BA, cleared, cleared MBA, MA, I cleared. As I came in the, uh, to Pune, I happened to go to a company. I saw that the company is also there. There is something known as corporate. There is something known as president, vice president, marketing manager. So I got introduced to that. Remember, I am a villager again. Most of these country people also don't know. Many of them don't know. So why not to do that? I spoke to the people there. That's what you see. For that you have to do MBA marketing if you want to be in marketing. See, the insecurity about the future also is haunting. Your children are born now. You have to look after them. Big worry is that. Now, from yourself, the attention goes to your children. So I said, let me do an MBA. I went to IMDA. I did a postgraduate diploma in management there. So Dr. Shajwalkar was Dr. P. Shajwalkar, you see, father of management movement in this part of Maharashtra. I got his blessings. After completing this, again two years were left for me. So I joined Symbiosis, SIBM, Symbiosis Institute of Business Management. I did there, I passed out with flying colors. Again, I went back on posting. The 10 years is over in the military people, you have to keep on traveling here and transferring. I went there. So on one of the occasions when I came to Pune, I met uh, our director, ja Dr. Jar Judah. He said, hey, what are you doing? I have to say something, sir. I am in the army. He said, the hell, you have done triple post graduation. What are you doing in the army? Just to tell him, sir, um, what to do, sir? I should get a job now to come out. He asked me, would you like to join me? I said, sir, uh, yes, sir. So that's how the journey started. When I was brought, when I came here on, 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 on a leave, I came. When I was presented before Dr. S. Bimajimdar, he saw the CV. He said, join straight away. So, fine, worked in SABM, learning quite a lot. And I saw in the process, a lot of army officers running here and there for admission of their children. Karna Sablok, Brigadier Sablok, 
but to these people nobody used to bother about them and that started working in my mind can't we do something in fact uh, myself professor pillasa and uh, shashi sachi jinamda we all met on this can we do something on this concept but we had only idea no money so i came to the in contact with dr mudinder when i was there i got into the hostel and hostel brought me closer to him we started to interact as frequently as possible and in one of the occasion i said why don't we start an exclusive institute for the children of armed forces professor bala subramanian whom we call bala is an interesting person he is not an individual he is not an institution but bala is a phenomenon and phenomenon which is similar to a thunder bala said sir there are lakhs of officers in the army navy and air force but because of their frequent transfers the education of their children suffers so i asked him so what he said sir i have an idea and what was his idea he said if we start institution department for the children of defense personnel it will be a great service not only to the army officers but also to the country i liked his idea but merely i liking the idea was not enough i had to convince the director of timbashi sister business manager but somehow he was reluctant but persuasive as bala was he again came to me he said sir the director doesn't want a special course for the children of army officers because he said there is no place in his institute and which was true so he had an ingenious idea he said then in that case let us start that course in high school of symbiosis which is located on 15th lane so bala was a student in sibm then a faculty in sibm then hod of one department in sibm and now the director of symbiosis institute of management studies so i left uh, symbiosis again now i am on the street now children are studying in mba in symbiosis uh, i don't know what to do so my friends came a lot of friends came corporate friends they said let us start here this school i said i know money or anything they said we will give you money i said no i can't take it this if i fail what to do uh, no, the only idea is there but they were so pursuing me i started to think i also started to think why not 5th floor 375 square feet place and uh, me and suresh were sitting and talking suresh is a professor now director academics here so we will start a institute i wrote uh, some five six letter to the army um, say i am starting this uh, distance learning thing and uh, lot of applications came 375 square feet How, now what name we have to give we said what is the best institute in the country now it's the iims so i wrote indian institute of management okay i added a word modern Indian Institute of Modern Management I I M M people say I square M square that is how I square I M square I A M M was started very good training tough training emotional attachment din aur raat it became a big success flagger and spread names that this kind of training is being given there it was a 
uh, name everybody was talking about and we we intensified corporate interface and see god was helping me the first uh, seminar what we organized was in lee meridian for a new b school i went to kaki dadi seth uh, who that hindustan never chairman he consented to come i wrote to uh, chinese ambassador chinese ambassador was more than happy to come bala sahab thakre visited to the institute that again become uh, in pune i had arrived since the success rate was good response was very good started btm telecom then we started balaji international we call it balaji institute of international business again we started balaji institute of management and hr all are doing very well again discipline dedication determination produce gold it will be sold people are stunned to see within 10 12 years to see the remarkable uh, growth of our alumni you have to think differently to think like colonel bala subramanian what a vision rome was not built in a day it has been a long trying journey it was one man the vision of one man who believed that problems are opportunities he took up the challenge of building one family one team one culture one goal balaji institute of modern management
earned and well-deserved success. Present amongst us today are another set of achievers. The success we celebrate today is as much there as it is of the challenges. They were, after all, hugely interesting. Student Council, Banji Institute of Modern Management will be deliver the welcome address. Convocation is a day that is looked forward by every student because it means that they have yet again passed through one of their knowledge regimes and just like others, I must say. That the challenges that today for the convocation. Today is a day of recognition as we acknowledge the success and achievement of this year's graduating class. Success that has come through personal sacrifice, perseverance and dedication. I hope that today will be an occasion that you remember fondly for the rest of your life. Today, that is 17th January 2015, I am sure all the convocation batch and the BIM will certainly Ultimately, in the real world, is the attitude and not only a right aptitude. In above the water is the skill and knowledge. Imagine it's the skill and knowledge which everybody else sees. What is unseen, which is the large part of the iceberg, is the attitude. And when a ship collides with the iceberg, in spite of vividly seeing, the top doesn't make the difference to the ship. But the bottom part makes the difference to the ship.
cash, it is the goal goes to Shakti Saru. guys Abhishek. Do you think there is a Silicon Valley in India? There is a Silicon Valley. Where is it? Oh, that's a Silicon Valley. How many products have come out of Silicon Valley that have become global? Give me one name. Then I will believe there is a Silicon Valley. How many billionaires have, except maybe five, have Bangalore produced? How many technologies that have changed the lives of the world? Has Bangalore. In my view, there is no Silicon Valley. You know why there is no Silicon Valley in India? We celebrate failure. We only celebrate success in India. And there is nothing like failure. Every failure is a stepping stone to success. It's an experience. It's a journey. Thank you, that's your parents. 
also not born in a, uh, a colony of somebody else. We are born in independent India. And we are a second generation independent in India. And we have a responsibility. And when I heard from Colonel Subramanian, the past Subramanian, that uh, the kind of discipline that is instilled in each one of you. And he made you study for 365 days. Thank God. Thank God. Because India needs people who can work and overwork. work. Exactly what is done by the European economy for with the European civilization. American civilization for two to three generations can be working without a work life balance. Is the place of India to create for you have to create that India. universities, this day is known as the commencement day. And one of the reasons this is, and I think it's very uh, thoughtful, because you are actually commencing a journey. You are actually commencing uh, the way of your future, your first step into the future, right? So therefore, this truly is remarkably the commencement journey for most of you. And I think all of us here today, are here to extend our very warm, deep wishes for your success, for your career, for your life, for your prosperity. And the very fact that all the parents, friends and relatives are here today is also symbolizing the fact that we are with you in this journey. and I got placed with HCL Technologies and I'm based out of Bangalore now. Hello everyone, my name is Divya Mehtani. I've got campus placement in Deloitte Tax Services, India Private Limited. Hi, I'm Neha Singh. Um, my course was Marketing Executive and I'm currently working for Green Planet Energy Limited. Thank you. Hi, uh, my name is Siddharth Pateria. And I'm placed in Godrej and Boys. Hello, my name is Rana Pramanik and I'm working in Orient Cement Limited as a management trainee. 
Hello, my name is Abhimanyu Pushkarna and I'm placed in Aitya Billa Retail Limited. Hi, I'm Sujay Javli and I'm placed in Cafe Coffee Day Beverages. Uh, hi, I'm Hi, I'm Jagati and I'm placed in Bajaj Alliance GIC. Hi, I'm Udit and I'm placed in Umang Dairy's GK organization. Hi, I'm Anshul Jain and I'm placed in Crawler Information Systems. Hi, I'm Surya Prakash and I'm placed in KPIT Technologies. Hi, I am Aruna Magarwal and I am working with Nihilin Technologies. Thank you. Hello, I am Hello, I am Srikant Vivek Markan. Hello, I am Srikant Vivek Markan and I am working in Excite Industries Limited. Hi, Megha Wale and I work with Sakar Papers Private Limited. Hi, uh, my name is Amit Kumar. I am working at Axis Bank. Hello, my name is Lakhan Manani and I was placed at Field Global. Hello, my name is Mohan Nadi Mukta and I am placed in Mother Day, India, Private Limited. My name is Rajiv Soni, I'm placed in ICC Bank. Hi, I'm Aditya Pilkhane, I'm working in Signode India Limited. Hi. Hello, I'm Piyush Pariyar. I got placed in Inter Capital Limited from this campus only. Hi there, my name is Abhishek Anand. I have been placed in Budget Paints India Limited. I, Hardarshan Kumar, placed in Tata Tele Services. My name is Astosh Kumar Singh. Uh, presently, I'm working in Lexi Private Limited. Thank you. Hello, my name is Swarnam Soma and, and I am placed in Shalvi Engineering Corporation. Hi, this is me, Khushi. I am placed in Tata Chroma. Hello, I am Karisha Mangal and I am placed in Tata Consultancy Services. Thank you. Hello, my name is Indivar Tiwari and I am placed in HSC Bank. Hi, uh, Apur here from System 1214 Batch. I got placed in Inuxi Technologies as a Product Manager. Hey, I'm Piyush Sinha and I'm placed with SDFC Bank Limited. Hello, I'm Drishti Sharma and I'm placed in Reddington India Limited. Hi, my name is My name is Preeti Magita. I'm placed with Endeavor Careers Private Limited. Hello? Hello, my name is Gundeep Kaur. Hello, my name is Gundeep Kaur Ehdi. I am placed with Bajaj Alliance Life Insurance Company. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. I am Sonal Raj and I am placed in Samsung India Electronics Private Limited, Gurgaon. Thank you. Hi, 
Hi, my name is Anne Mary Phillip. I'm from PMHRD. I'm placed in Deloitte. Thank you. Hi, hi. My name is Paridhi Rahabar. I'm placed in Tata Consultancy Services, Pune. Hi, I'm Shivani Jair. I'm placed in HCL Technologies. Hi, I'm Snigdha Govitrikar. Got placed in TCS. Hi, I'm Aditya Sahu and I'm placed in Reliance Industries Limited. Hi, I'm Pinaki Mahapatra. I'm working with Acura Consulting. Hi, I'm Nishu Patel. I'm placed in Evolve Technology as a HR executive. Hello, my, hello, my name is Surabhi Kachap. I am in teaching profile. I am Dhanya Nair. I'm working with Sanvik Asia Private Limited. Hi, my name is Kushal Garg and I'm working with Adit Villa Retail. Thank you. Hello, I am Sanjay Patel. I am working with Tata Projects Limited. I am Rishabh Srivastav. I am working with Tata Consultancy Services Limited. Hi, I am Shivika Sahu. I am working with Reliance Industries Limited. Hi. Hi, I am Sudip. Hi, I am Sudip. Happily placed in Coffee Day Beverages, Bangalore. Umesh Thorat, placed in Tata Consultancy Services, Mumbai. Hi, this is Sayez Yawlar and I'm proudly placed with Reddington India Limited. Uh, hello, my name is Vinit Alwar and I'm placed with Deloitte. Hello, my name is Mitashri, proudly placed with HCL. Hello, my name is Yusuf Merchant, I am placed with Blue Dot. Hello, my name is Anurag Malhotra, I am placed in Panasonic India Private Limited. Hello everyone, my name is Arun Nair from Marketing Batch. I got placed in Aditya Birla Financial Services. Hello everyone, I am Rahul Kumar. I got placed in Indus Towers Limited and working in Goa. Hello everyone, I am Dhaneshwar Sahu. My specialization is Telecom and I placed in a Dish TV India Limited. <coughs> Hi, this is Aditya Singh. I got placed in Markets and Markets and I'm still working for the same company. Hi, this is Abhishek Srivastav. I got placed with InfoH Group 99acres.com and working with the same company. Hello, I'm Jonathan Dias. I got placed with Axis Bank and the location is Goa. Thank you. Hi everyone, this is Santu Biswas. Uh, I'm from Marketing Bash. I got placed in Coffee Table Bridges. Hi everyone, my name is Harshal. Uh, I've done my specialization in telecom, got placed in uh, Neelan Technologies, Private Limited, Pune. Thank you. Hi everyone, I'm Neha Soni. I'm from Telecom Batch and I've been placed in Markets and Markets. Hi, I'm Prakash Pandey. Right now I'm 
working with Birla Salai Mutual Fund as an executive in operations. Hi, my name is Harsh and I am placed in Global Financial Services. Uh, hello, this is Prashant Bant. Uh, I am working with Daikin Air Conditioning India, Private Limited. Thank you. Hi, my name is Arun and I am working for Marathon Realty Private Limited in Mumbai. Thank you. Hi, my name is Sanket Bhaskarwar and I am placed in Philip Capital, Mumbai. Thank you. Hello, I am Hussain Alatwala. I am working with uh, Alvasal Company. Thank you. This is Avinash Mukundan from BAIB and I am working from Markets and Markets in Pune. Thank you. Uh, hi, this is Piyush from Balaji Institute of International Business. I was placed in Edelweiss Financial Services, Pune. Thank you. Hi, I am Ajinkya from BIIB. After college, I joined my family business. Thank you. Hi, my name is Ayan Gupta, BIIB Marketing, 1214 Batch, and currently I'm working with LNT Technology Services, Bangalore. My name is Ritika, and I'm placed with Markets and Markets. Thank you. My name is Juhi Sareen, and I'm placed in Deloitte. Thanks. Hi, this is Chipra, I'm a HRD Marketing Specialist, and I'm working in Apco Group. Thank you. Hello everyone, I'm Uttama Chakravarti, working with Carvali.com as a branding consultant there. Wish you all a very look, good luck for your future. Thank you so much. Hello, I'm Neha, and uh, I've got into Deloitte, and Balaji Society itself is a good experience, and Bimbachari drugs. Thank you. Yes, start. My name is Priya Pradhani. I'm from Marketing and Finance Batch and uh, I'm placed in Zinsas. Nupur Begani, Finance, Excel Dynamics Private Limited. One more. Nupur Begani, Finance, Excel Dynamics Private Limited. Thank you. Uh, hi, my name is Prince Gupta. I'm from Marketing and Finance uh, Batch and I'm placed in Jubilant Retail. This is Priyanka Madhyar from PM and HR uh, 2012 to 14 batch, and I'm working in Acura Consulting as an HR executive. Thank you. My name is Aditya Mishra. My specialization is operations, and I'm placed with Ultratech Cement Limited. Thank you. Rituja Hasurkar, uh, Citizen Industries. Myself, Rupti Sutani, PM and HR 124901. I'm currently working in Grassam Industries Limited, Aditya Villa Group. Hi, my name is Abhinav Bhadra. I've been placed with uh, Bajaj Finance and uh, working in Mumbai. Thank you. Start. Hi, my name is Rishay. I'm from PGDM Systems Batch 1214 and I'm placed in SRF Limited, Gurgaon, as Senior Executive. Thank you. My name is Sugandha Priyam. I am currently placed in Tata Products Limited in Hyderabad. Hi, this is Mayurika Rati. I am up from PGDM Marketing Batch. I am working with Hindustan Cargo Limited. Uh, hello, my name is Neha Shri and I am placed in GVK EMRI Hyderabad. Thank you. Hello, my name is Sudhan Thapa and I am placed in Deloitte India Tax LLP. Hi, I'm Siddharth Saxena from Batch of 12, uh, 14 Batch, Telecom Management, and I'm being placed in HCL Technologies. Thank you. Hello, my name is Amit Kumar Yadav. I am from 12, 14 Batch. And